Hi, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com. I'm here today to announce something I'm pretty excited about. It is a content share on our blog with Road Racing World Magazine. Blog.SportBikeTrackYear.com. We've had that attached to our website, yeah, for a couple of years now. We've put some, some decent content on there, actually. Not bad stuff. Here's the truth about blogs attached to e-commerce websites. I'm going to give you this right now. They are up there for SEO purposes, primarily. Almost nothing else. A lot of the contents is there. It's actually fake. It's written by some dude in Bangladesh that's sitting in a chair in front of a TV tray in his underpants with a bowl of Cheerios in front of him. It's keyword rich stuff meant for the Google to crawl it and then boom, they come to the website and they buy some stuff. That's not really my thing. I don't dig that. I want it to be about the content. If it helps me sell a helmet, God bless. I'm into that too, for sure. That's why we're here, right? But if we're going to do this other thing, the content has to be great. And that's where Road Racing World comes into play. Moto content, this is the pinnacle. This is literally the summit of Everest when it comes to moto journalism. Odds are at this point, if you've been to the Sport Bike Track Your website, okay, our YouTube channel, or thank you very much if you placed an order with us, you've established the fact that we've got a connection with Road Racing World Magazine. We actually put complimentary copies in select orders throughout the month too, just to expose people to what I think is a great publication. When you look at this, right, and the road racing part, it's so easy to think, well, this is just racing coverage. And it's funny because with Sport Bike Track here, it's kind of the same thing. It's like, you know, we started at the track. We love the track. We do a lot of stuff with street parts and for the street. Absolutely. So if you just judge the book by its cover, you're thinking racing only or track only. It's the same thing here, really. Examples of that are going to be the middleweight bike shootout. I got to do this with them at Chuck Walla Raceway earlier this year. We did the SV650, the Z650, and the FC07, right? That's in this magazine. New technology, new bikes when they're released, they break down the new bikes and the new technology. Street rides are done on these bikes, and they review that stuff too. So the content spans way beyond racing. Road Racing World Magazine is family owned and operated. It is the Ulrich family that is behind it, right? John Ulrich, he is the godfather of American road racing. Road Racing World Action Fund, right? The air fence deal. He's done more for rider safety, more in my opinion, to bring the sport of motorcycling in general, not even just racing, many, many steps forward throughout his career. His son, Chris Ulrich, freshly retired super bike racer and now race team owner, right? Chris has been riding motorcycles his entire life at the highest level. You know, I actually took a two-up ride with Chris last year at Barber Motorsports Park, which is pretty interesting. If you've ridden there, if you've done track days there, we got one flying lap, two grown men on a GSX-R1000. We did a minute 39 seconds. That is the most exciting ride I've ever taken on a motorcycle. Chris has ridden all kinds of stuff all over the world throughout his career bike shootouts, tire tests. You want to talk about analytical. You can ask Chris, uh, a Q3, Dunlop Q3 tire, what kind of air pressure did you like to use on the racetrack under these conditions compared to a Bridgestone S21, compared to a Michelin Power RS, compared to a Pirelli, right? And he's got all that. Super analytical, very detailed, whether it's parts, tires, or bike technology, the information that's in here it is real. There is no fake news in any of this, right? We keep going with the contributors. We've got Ed Sorbo. Yes, the same Ed Sorbo who rode Paris Hilton up the stage on the Jay Leno show on the motorcycle, right? That really happened. Amazing contributions. Then we have David Schwartz. Phenomenal. We have Michael Gugis. Same category as David. There's others that I'm forgetting, but the point is this, and it's simple real, badass moto journalism that focuses on the truth and the facts first. They're beholden to no one. Let's say it like it is, right? It's all about the facts and the information and the realism behind it because they are family owned and operated, right? They're able to do 
what they feel is right. And that comes from a real moto family and it's passed on to everybody in the motorcycling community. If you can't tell, I'm pretty pumped about this. This is a project we've been working on for a long time and I'd really love to see folks come to the blog, enjoy that, and most importantly, if you dig the content you see there, right, we can get you a special subscription rate on this magazine, monthly, full color copies. You can have your own, enjoy them forever. Every dude loves a proper motorcycle magazine. And this, as I stated before, is the best of the bunch, no doubt about it. I'm Brian Van, sportbiketrackgear.com.